Hello, you're watching the thrift store rundown, waiting Hollywood home on a budget. There are some days where you just hate your high school, some days where you just like your high school, some days where you just really like your high school, and then there are those few rare days and few rare occasions where you feel that like other kids are jealous of the high school you attend because it rocks that much. I'm proud to say that this gift helps international high school fall into the latter category, and it's thanks to a teacher who didn't have any more use for this. Her name is Miss Ayanelli, that's her last name. I don't know why we call all teachers by their last names, apparently it's a sort of respect, I assume, but hey, it's their rules, not ours. She gifted me this, and I, I got a call from my friend Zoe, who's actually the social worker over there, she's my case manager because I'm in special education, I know TMI, but I gotta give you the facts straight. Because of good water mouth, she wanted to give me this, this is the Toshiba Satellite Model L75D-87283 Model Windows 8.1 Edition with a nickel, cadmium, and or lithium ion battery nickel metal hydride must be recycled or disposed of properly. And it does come with an authentic copy of Windows 8. I actually had to do a service reboot on this, wipe out all of her previous data so I can give this a clean slate so it had to update itself or it would not operate properly. So I updated it to Windows 8.1 and as you can see we have the Toshiba uh, background with a few icons, about five icons, the cycle bin, desktop assistant, Google Chrome, my primary browser, Google Earth Pro because I'm a big fan of Google Earth, and primarily the Street View, Norton Internet Security. This came with a 30-day subscription to Norton Internet Security, even though it's now expired. I'm going to have to get a new security provider for this. And not only that, it came with a charger, which I have in the back, and a Logitech wireless mouse that runs on one AA battery, which I'll open up for you now. So here it is, we got it on a Dell cell battery, and it has a USB uh, connector right here, which is actually attached to one of the side ports. You see that right here? That belongs to this, and it will not work without it. So I'll turn it off for you right now. And it works really well, this wireless mouse. Your partner has expired, yeah, I'll deal with that later. Let's talk about some of the cons here. Um, the battery life is not really impressive. My Google Chromebook has a longer battery life, about three hours off the charger. This says two hours and 16 minutes, but that's a lie. Really, 90 minutes at the tops. And uh, the state is dead. You have to put it back on the charger. 90 minutes without the charger, that's just not impressive. Another thing is the audio. I am into the Realtek HD Audio Manager. You have more customization. However, this comes with Connected Smart Audio HD, which I'm not really a fan of. Less customizable features. Go to speakers properties. Those who are audio tech junkies will know what I'm talking about. Realtek HD is the bomb. This is it, although it is decent. Um, it's not really that powerful. Um, Speaker-wise, but what this also has going for it, audio-wise, and I'll go to the start menu here, and look at that, you have a really cool selection of apps, including Netflix, although Netflix doesn't work on this laptop, and neither does Hulu, I don't get why. Go down here, and there's something called DTS Audio, DTS Sound. And what that does is, when you turn it on, it enhances the sound instantly, and it makes you feel like you're actually in a home theater. That is mostly if you put on headphones. So here it is. DTS Studio Sound. And on the left is the power button. I'll turn that on. And let's just play something here really quickly. Music. K-A-R-P. I'm a huge a collector of television themes. I don't care. Soap opera, sports, uh, news, comedies, dramas, I don't care. I'm a huge collector and a uh, really big addict of television themes. Turn it on. I had the speakers on all the way. Hi! So 
So this is for the DTS Studio Sala, turn it off. That looks a different. I prefer to have the DTS Studio sound turned off. I believe this really lessens the experience. I mean, the audio is fine as is. By the way, that was the theme music from the three-time Emmy Award winning Christina's Court by Michael Coppard. Speaking of Emmy winning, a couple of days ago the Emmy nominations were announced for the primetime Emmys, which will happen on September 22nd. We will do a multi-part series on my Emmy Award program guides. Non-reprints, non-reproductions, they are all legit, all original from the Television Academy. I have six of them in the back, all lying in repose, and I will be reviewing all of them in a multi-part series. Six magazines, I guess we'll do two for each video. That would be a, a solid three videos of Emmy content that I think you'll want to watch. So, uh, hopefully you'll stay tuned for that. But... Back to this. D DTS Studio Sound, I prefer to have it turned off. I was able to transfer all of my music files from my desktop computer before it got canned for a bit. And then rebooted by my good friends David Lakin and James Hardison. And I was able to transfer all of those files into here through my hard drive, which I'll get for you right now. It was actually David Lakin's external hard drive that he gave to me with all of my music files. And he said that he didn't know if he took all of them out. But he did, to my great surprise. I'll get this for you now. It's on the side here. Uh, I gotta be careful. There's a bunch of stuff on the side. It's near my workstation in the back of my uh, desktop computer. But this is it. This is the external hard drive, the IM Mega. I would show you the wires, but they're near my workstation too. There are about three wires for this. Three cords that you have to connect to, uh get this going. This has all my files. So if this goes down, or my desktop goes down, I can run on this. No problem there. And I so appreciate those two big time for that. So let's get back to the um, desktop. Google Earth Pro. Google Earth Pro, I think, runs very smoothly here. So, let's just test this out. So tips at startup. I really do enjoy using Google Earth though. Have you ever used Google Earth desktop version before? It's really quite something neat. So let's just type in for example. Hmm, what should I type in? How about Water Brothers Studios? That's T U D I O S. Water Butter Studios, Burbank, California, just for example. And it should load now. There it is. We'll get to the storage capacity in a moment. How many gigabytes are in this hard drive? I just want to show you how awesome it is to have Google Earth around. So here we are. The 3D Earth View. Aerial Earth View from the top. There it is. Oh, and pay attention to that white building. That looks like a church. This building, right here. I'll go, uh, a bit higher just to show you exactly. See that surrounding neighborhood, too? Getting somewhere? You know where that's from? Wolfsword, where Ali's funeral was held, where Wen lost her li his life, and, uh, where Hannah was found in the Bell Tower. I'm not going to say the soul's name. You probably know what it is. Okay, put it all liars. I just couldn't resist. But seriously, us PLL geeks need to know that stuff. Now let's get to the other important aspect of this. The hard drive. This PC holds 684 gigabytes. And right now I've already used up uh, plenty of it. But, uh, it has 607 gigabytes remaining, so I don't want to cram too much into this. I don't want to really jam it up like I did my desktop with all of my games. And there you have your documents, desktop, downloads, music, princess, videos. There's a fly in the screen, folks. Sorry. 
Now, we'll go back to the stock menu again. I already have some photos put in. I also have the Jane um, screen capture software for when I like to take screenshots of YouTube videos or other images that I just can't download straight from Google or Bing images. That's where Jane comes into play. This little yellow sun right here, this yellow half circle, that's Jane. And I downloaded it when I had my desktop, and it's various, um, various versions of Windows. And I will always have it. Because it works so phenomenally well. So, here are the apps, Netflix, which strangely does not work. They're going to take Pretty Little Liars off of Netflix uh, towards the end of this month. And it will never be on another streaming service again until 2020 when they're going to put PLL on Water Media's new streaming service called HBO Plus. Or HBO Max. Yeah, HBO Max. That's it. Which I think is excellent. So you see it's loading. Um, see on the top right corner it says sign in, but I don't have a Netflix account. My mother loves Netflix. She watches Netflix every single day. I am not kidding you. I'm not really into Netflix. And I already have the PLL DVDs. So anything I would like on Netflix, I will just get via DVD. This also has Hulu. And that too doesn't work on this computer. Unless you sign in. But even if you don't sign in, it wouldn't work on here. CD message. We're sorry. An error occurred. Yeah, so that's... Those are two apps I won't be using very much. You got eBay, you got Vimeo, which is like YouTube for businesses or something. I like Vimeo. You have iHeartRadio. That's this icon right here. You have Norton. You have your book place. You have your news place. You have the Toshiba Media Player. And we'll get to the video player aspect in a moment. You have Origin. That's for your EA games, Electronic Arts, Microsoft Office Suite. This did not come with Windows Live Movie Maker because they no longer make Windows Live Movie Maker. You're going to have to get it from third-party sources. And I'll talk about that in a moment, too. But here it is, Movie Maker, Google Chrome, Photo Gallery, and some miscellaneous apps over here. I like to put in things that's in here. Go down, and here's a full list of apps in alphabetical order. So, yeah, this thing has got you covered. This has Windows Media Player, too. Just in case the Toshiba video player acts a little silly. So I think that's really neat. We'll go back to the desktop right now. And we're going to talk about the testing of the DVD ROM. On we go. I put the DVD ROM through a battery of tests to determine whether or not the Toshiba video player would be worth my time. And I must say. It is. I put this through a series of four tests, and in order, here we go. These are the tests. Test one, America's Test Kitchen season six. So there you have it, from America's Test Kitchen to your kitchen. Great, sautéed and oven roasted pork tenderloin with delicious pork rye cherry sauce. Mm -hmm. Good job. I will get to the review of this sometime later because uh, it kind of looks sketchy on the outside, and the presentation is. Somewhat altered, but we'll get to that in a standalone review. But it did play well. Round two. Just a sort of a curveball round, I put in SpongeBob. At random, I selected SpongeBob versus the big one and Giant Squidward. Now I'm too small to play my giant clarinet. <laughs> By the way, did you catch the 20th anniversary episode, Spongebob's Big Birthday Blowout? They're up for an Emmy this year for Plankton's Paranoia, and in their 20th anniversary, I think that would be a sweet birthday present. Their first primetime Emmy Award. So, those were the first two tests. Then, round three, SVU, Season 12. Now this, if it would work, would gain the Toshiba video player and the DVD ROM of my new Windows 8.1 laptop into the finals. So I selected merchandise from the first disc. Fact. You are now all my bitches. Fact. Deliver 
this kid to me? A kid used to living in the tombs. That played really, really well. I was really impressed with it. Although, uh, it didn't really display captions so much as it displayed subtitles. So, we'll talk about that. I'll open that up. So you can see what I'm talking about. The Toshiba Video Player playing subtitles instead of captions for certain applications. But the fourth and final round, the one for all the marbles. Q fanfare. That's right. Pretty Little Liars. You know how we go. The seventh season. The one that I had to pay a pretty darn penny for. I chose... The first episode I've seen on television, and that would be uh, this two. These boots were made for stalking. Can it see us or not? Guess. It's punishing Anna for attacking it with a steak knife. And it played well. I give Toshiba Video Player a big thumbs up. Especially if it could play my babies so well. Especially if it could play SVU so well. So once again, the DVD round tests were in order. Round 1, America's Test Kitchen Season 6. Round 2, Spongebob vs. The Big One. Round 3, Law & Order SVU. And Round 4, the one for the win, Pretty Little Liars. The one that would make or break this DVD round player and Toshiba video player. And it passed, so I give it a big thumbs up. However, really quickly, I'm going to open the video player now so that you can see what I'm talking about in terms of playing captions. Sometimes, in lieu of playing captions, they um, play subtitles for you. It should open up now. There it is. There it is. The Toshiba video player. It's a very nice video player. It works very nicely. It has Dolby Digital Sound. Right now, there's nothing uh, in it because there's no DVD. But, if you were to click here, this button, I have it on full screen right now, here it is, the uh, settings button, it would, in lieu of captions, play subtitles. These are the options, and I'll zoom in closely so you can see them more. You have the option to zoom from the beginning, or from where you left off, from the last stop position. Something called OSD, video always on top, one touch replay, one touch skip, widescreen, overscan, closed captioning, audio language, subtitle language, disc menu language. Those are the um, features with the Toshiba video player. So that's a nice thing to consider. I like the Toshiba video player. I will continue to use it for my DVDs because it's kind of nice having the different viewing experience from the uh, Windows Media Player, although I can, if I'd like to, switch to Windows Media Player for my DVD um, binge watching. I don't binge watch a lot of DVDs very often. My three favorite TV shows you could sum in three initials. ATK, America's Test Kitchen, SVU, Special Victims Unit, and of course, my heart, my soul, PLL, Pretty Little Liars. By the way, we got a major PLL development for you. Not so much a PLL development as it is a huge development with one of the cast members, and I'll be telling that to you in the form of a book review. One spoiler though, I got it for $3.49, and you might have seen it in one of my haul videos. You do not want to miss this. So I'll put these things back now. And all in all, the Windows 8.1 Toshiba laptop, I think is one of the most kind gestures that a teacher who's never even knew me has ever done for me. And I get this in balancing the pros and cons of everything I talk about. I would give it a 4 out of 5. I appreciate Miss Ionelli big time for this gesture and it goes back to the point I made at the top of the show. Sometimes on those very rare occasions you find yourself in great gratitude, in great debt for the building staff, teachers, custodial staff, maintenance crew, administrators, um, social workers, um, psychological health workers, everyone who works at International High School. I will enter my final year as a senior 
It's September. I graduate next year. And I'll graduate with a lot of fond memories. And a lot of people who I owe a big debt to. Namely, James Hardison and David Lakin and Miss Sianelli for this very kind gesture. Even though it has uh, some of the audio at times, it's best if you use headphones. My Google uh, Chromebook has slightly more powerful audio. And even though it's smaller, it has a longer battery life, the Chromebook. This is bigger, larger, but has a shorter battery life. And as of this right now, it's uh, an hour and 43 minutes. Wow. It's kind on me for the shooting of this review, I'll tell you that. But what about the other um, uh, pros to this? So here they are. Satellite model L75D. Dash A7283 HD True Bright Display with HDMI, a raised tile keyboard. And here it is, raised tile keyboard. And fast file transfer with USB 3.0. And believe you me, it is fast. You scan this code right here so you can get more details on this bad boy. Energy Star Battery AMD A4 Quad Core. For all you tech geeks out there, uh, this is getting you turned on right now. I won't lie. It's a stellar laptop. And one other thing that I forgot to mention. It does edit pretty well. This is the Windows Movie Maker. Forgot to mention that. I had to install this via third party because Windows, again, no longer makes the Movie Maker. And... Either I have to get a new camera, or I have to retrain myself and get a new editing software because uh, there are certain foul ups with this and certain um, goofs that the movie maker displays quite often. But I am now using this as my primary editing station for all my Flip Store Rundown videos to come, including this one, because the desktop computer. Since it got rebooted, no longer takes ABC HD files raw because when I go to edit the product or when I finish editing the product in the finished video, the video always pixelates. Pixelates. Uh, pixelates. <laughs> that's a very hard one. Pixelates. No, that's not hard. That's easy. So uh, that's a problem. I rather choose quality over um, ease of use for certain applications and. Uh, that's why I'm now using the Windows Live Movie Maker, now just known as Movie Maker because this was from a third party. I'm using that as my primary editing space there. There you go. Here's my open and close template. Saves me a lot of time having to put those things in from scratch when I can already have them loaded for a review. Much like this one. And I think that's about it. Once again, it is the Windows 8.1 Toshiba laptop from Miss Ionelli at International High School. It just makes me, you know, think back to those days when I had an HP laptop and I would take that HP laptop on the go so I wouldn't get bored. That is exactly what I'll do with this if I have a long travel day. Although I'll probably need to take the uh, Google Chromebook too, just in case this one's out of battery life if I have a long, long, long hour two hour long road trip, I'll probably do the Google Chromebook in case of emergency. But all in all, I really like this laptop. I'm linking it below in the description, although the chances of you finding it at the thrift store are very rare. You shouldn't be buying electronics at the thrift store, period, unless you do a lot of preliminary testing first. Believe you me, believe you me, I know that the hard way with a Blu-ray player. That's a long story. And the purchase of a fairly Blu-ray play actually led to a really seriously awesome consolation haul, which I'll tell you about soon. But I think that's just about it for this review, for this video. Some days you are just loving your alma mater. And for me, for me to get this with the awesome Logitech wireless mouse and a relatively awesome DVD one player, all in all, I'm proud to call International High School my alma mater, especially if they're so generous with stuff like this. And I only got one C on my uh, report card this year. I'm normally an A and B student, and yet she still found time to give me this, even though I got a C. 
in AP Computer Science, which is Mr. Lincoln's class, which is the hardest class ever to take. I'll try better next year. I owe him that. Especially if people are willing to give their time so I can have stuff like this. I owe them that. And I owe you guys many thanks for tuning into this review. It was a long one, but boy was it worth it. I'll catch you on the flip side. If there are any foul-ups with the editing of this video, please understand that it's not just myself, it's the movie maker. Since I got it from a third-party source. Hey Microsoft, please try and remake your Windows Live Movie Maker. That's the best on editing software I ever used. Remember, this rating is still tentative. There's a lot more features to talk about, including a webcam and the opportunity to record narration over my Movie Maker projects. I hope to test that out in the future. But right now, this laptop's background, although pretty, although stylus, is lacking something for me. We should fix that. There. Now my laptop's looking fine.